Mr. Bonner's inner self is nearing the other world. Tonight, we will try to contact the spirit of Mrs. Edward. You so long. I didn't expect you for hours. I had to finish my old job first. You know, Mr. Johnson, I sure do appreciate you letting me have your job here. The appreciation's all mine, Mr. Brown. Uh, Mr. Johnson, you said something about some seances was here. What is them? You don't know what a seance? No, what is it? Oh, men and women just sit around a table in the dark and hold hands. Do that make them happy, hold hands? Sort of raises their spirits some. Oh, yeah? Oh. Oh. What was that? Oh, oh, oh it's just someone moaning. Moaning? More than about the income tax, I mean. Good night, Mr. Brown. Uh, good night, Mr. Johnson. I won't need this now. How to disappear. Uh, Mr. Johnson, does this book really tell you how to disappear? Guaranteed to make you go from where you is so you ain't where you was in a flash. Can you do it? I'm about to vanish right now. All I have to do is say the magic word and snap my finger like this. Abacadabra, I'm gone. Oh, anybody could do that. So we in a flash, he went. We are fortunate tonight. A spirit is about to join us. Is that you, Gert? Gertrude? My husband. Is that you, Mr. Edwards? That's her. My wife. She always called me Mr. Edwards. But you're dead, aren't you? I've been buried, but I'm not dead. Abacadabra. Still here, but not for long. Those with prepared questions will nod their heads. Miss Green? Mr. Hamlin? Miss Wood? Mr. Edwards? Now for the questions while Mr. Bonner is still in contact with the spirit world. What happened in London the night of October 5th, 1935? What was the question? What happened in London the night of October 5th, 1935? What happened in London the night of October 5th, 1935? Who asked that question? Answer me. Who spoke then? Who asked that question if you don't... <laughs> What is wrong, Miss Green? He's, he's hurting my hand. He won't let go. He's hurting my hand, too. Mr. Bonner, wait him. Don't touch him while he's in his trance. He won't come out of this trance. He's dead. Dead? I thought only spirits were dead around here. Bonner has been shot. Shot? He's been murdered. Murdered? Certainly looks like it. Murder? I, I simply won't have it. Oh, murder. Oh, dear. 
Barnwell murdered. What did we do, Tom? Keep your corpuscles cold, Vera. First we get dressed. And then skip town? And leave all our equipment here and up in that seance room. Not much. I wonder who killed him. Would you like me to bring back his ghost and ask him? Get dressed. Operator. Operator, get me the police. Matthew's talking. Yeah. Yeah? Where? 349 Dexter Street. On my way. Get Smith and McCarthy. Homicide. Homicide. Homicide? Well, why didn't you say so? Well, we all searched each other. There was no gun. Well, thank you very much, ladies. Get in there, please. My dear sir, my lecture tour cannot be disrupted. Listen, I do all the lecture in here until this case is finished. What do you mean? Oh, mister, this place is creeping with ghosts. Why, I just seen a dead woman floating around, right in there. Uh-oh, there she is, still floating. What are you talking about? That's the murdered man. Have you got a gun? A witch? Mm. <laughs> Stop, I'm ticklish. Smith, have you found that gun yet? There's no gun in here, sir. Well, keep searching. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, the thousands of unfortunate people who will be prevented from hearing my lecture. Cigar, Mr. Edwards? Oh. No, thank you. Well, you're all going to headquarters. Everyone. I simply must have a lawyer. All right, folks, if you please. You go too, young lady. But I wanted to tell you You something. can tell me everything at headquarters. Go along. Uh-oh. What is your pop going to say? I don't know, but I sure need pop. I need pop, too. I mean your pop. Will you two stop popping and get going? You don't understand, Sergeant. I've been trying to tell you my pop is Charlie Chan. I don't care if your pop is... Huh? Charlie Chan? The detective? From Honolulu? Where is he staying? At the Chateau Hotel. Rafferty. Yes, Sarge. Get him. Come. Mr. Charlie Chan? Yes. Are you sure? Oh, these toys. They are toys for my numerous family in Hawaii. I'm sure my arrival of humble self in Honolulu will be noisy success. with me? Uh, you're wanted at headquarters, Mr. Chan. We got a case of homicide and your daughter, Frances. My daughter involved in murder? Well, I don't know, Mr. Chan, but Sergeant Matthews thinks she is. Oh, suggest we travel quickly. Please, come. They tell the truth, Sergeant. Because I am leaving tomorrow for Hawaii, Birmingham got new job this afternoon. You got a new job this afternoon and quit tonight. When Birmingham told me that they held seances at his new place, naturally, I was interested. But you both got there in time to be in on a murder. Oh, it could happen to anyone. You stop nodding, Rafferty. Yeah. Huh? Sure? Okay. 
Smith says there's no gun to be found anywhere in the Bonner house. Yeah. What? Man, you're crazy. Yes, but... But... Oh, all right. Bonner was killed by a bullet that entered his heart, but didn't pass entirely through his body. But there was no gun found on anyone present. No gun was found in the house. And now the coroner calls and says that there's no bullet in the body. Now, how are you going to shoot a guy with a bullet without using a bullet? Spooks. Spooks. Perhaps uh, invisible bullet. Invisible bullet. That's dime novel stuff. How about you helping us on this case, Chan? Oh, no. Uh, must refuse Grace's offer. I'm on brief vacation from government work. Well, that's that. You can go, Charlie. But of course, your daughter stays. Don't forget she's involved in a murder. Oh, Pop, do I really have to stay here? Not for long. Okay, I take case. Good. This is a tough proposition, Charlie. Murder at a seance. Unexplainable things happen at seances. Yes. Uh, may I use other office for a few moments? Sure, sure. Thank you so much. Give me the coroner's office. Peters? Matthews. Say. Has anybody invented an invisible bullet yet? Oh, all right, all right. I didn't think so either. What are you grinning at? Hmm? Brown, you've been involved in three murder cases already. It ain't my fault, mister. It's the laws. Always somebody taking me down the hall. Then something goes clang. Then, then I'm in jail again. Uh, but by mistake. Mistake? Maybe the other cases were mistakes. But what about this Bonner murder? Commissioner, that was a strictly private murder to which I was not invited. Sergeant, you say many strange things happen at Seance. Without crystal ball, I can say you wear size nine and a half shoe. You should wear 11, but you prefer big corns to big shoes. Also, you changed your barber last week. Old barber cut your hair too short. Also, no, you think law too lenient in criminal cases today, especially district attorney's office. You wish me to continue, Sergeant? No. I mean, how do you know what I think? Very simple. I am psychic. Do you see what I see? Can even produce spirit wrappings. Do you hear what I hear? But that personal information about me. Oh, merely telephone your wife in next room. Oh, uh, she talks too much. <laughs> you uh, question all suspects? Yes. Good. We'll examine their statements tomorrow. Birmingham, you must uh, go back to Bonner House. Oh, Mr. Chan, I'd rather stay in jail. No, I wish you for inside man for police. But what about them spooks? Oh, if spooks bother you, sergeant will arrest them. Oh, well, that's all right. I'm just... Hmm? Evidence insufficient to arrest anyone, Sergeant. But would like interview with young lady who calls herself Nancy Wood. Calls herself Nancy Wood? Get me the Brockton Apartments. You mean that's not a real name? The Brockton Apartments? I want to speak with Miss Nancy Wood. Huh? Well, just a minute. There's no one there by that name. This is police department speaking. 
You have a young lady living there whose initials are N.D.? Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, thank you so much. M.D.? Initials of young lady's real name, Norma Duncan. How did you know that, when you didn't even see her? Initials on young lady's bag, right under your nose all the time. I saw them in Topa. Mm. Beauty of Chan family also have brains. Very fine combination. Well, I have a very busy day ahead, so must be going. You remain here at hotel. Oh, Pop, you say I have brains that make me sit around and twiddle my thumbs. Twiddling thumbs at hotel keep pretty nose out of trouble. Oh, Pop, you have to have one of your children along when you're on a case. I have 14 children. They all try to boss me. No. You still twiddle at hotel. Abacadabra. Abacadabra. Hello. Where's Mr. Chan? Busy on this case, and so am I. Who do you think killed Mr. Bonner? Spooks. Silly, they can't hurt anyone. No, well, how come they're scaring me to death? Miss Duncan. Will you please explain why you gave us a false name? Justine Bonner and the others knew me as Nancy Wood. I was afraid to give my true name. Why, please? Because William Bonner had just been killed. And if anyone had a motive for killing him, I had. My father was Charles Duncan, civil engineer. He committed suicide a year ago. After Mother died, father started attending the Bonner seances. Quite understandable. At that time, Father was in sole charge of the financial figures for a tremendous project. Those figures turned up in the hands of a rival company. Dad's firm was nearly ruined. He... he felt disgraced. He shot himself. The Bonners got those figures from Dad. They caused his death. But why you attend seances? Well, I... I hope to learn enough to put them both in prison. You find anything? Well, my mind is made up. Young lady, you're going to... To return to your home, Miss Duncan, for the present and try to forget the past. Thank you. Charlie, that's not what I was going to say. I know, I know. Relax, relax. You know, I got gremlins galloping up and down my spine. We've got to look around. You want to see us? No. Stay where you are until I need you. That's all. We want to get away. Get away? Why? We're not mixed up in Bonner's murder. You'll stay. Both of you were in this room when Bonner was shot. We both scram if you feel that way. Yeah, in a hurry, too. No, I didn't mean it. I'm, I'm upset, worried. She's alone in there. Who's she talking to? Most spooks. I may have to disappear. I'll need your help. How do you like that? She's really scared, Tom. Yeah. I wonder why. I've got to hide this gun. Hide it? Yeah, why? Just in case she talks too much. You heard it. She's going to scram with a couple of spooks. I've got to tell Pop. Me too. No, Pop wants you to stay here. Oh, my goodness. Abacadabra. Mm, I hate you pop my finger. Abacadabra. Oh, my goodness. Come on, get hold of yourself, man. A scrambled egg has got more spirit than you. Spirit. Spook. What are you doing? 
you doing up there? I hit my gun. Now let her try and get me in trouble. Now I'm hearing things and there ain't nothing to hear. Second thought, ain't nobody here. Such. She's got enough trouble without your doing that. I just got to make that way. Have a good day. Oh, shut up. Yes, sir. Hmm? That did it. You are about to leave, Mr. Chan? I've been about to leave ever since I arrived here. Birmingham, you know Pop doesn't believe that we heard Justine talking to spooks? That's the truth, Mr. Chan, and not a spooks is talking to me. You do not like being legal bloodhound? I just can't be one, Mr. Chan. I'm too anemic. I'm practically pale. That's me. Mrs. Bonner at home? No, sir. Good. We'll take a look around. You know, after being here, I could have an elegant time in a cemetery, reading tombstones at midnight. Pop says spooks can't hurt you if you cross your fingers and your eyes. Cross your fingers and your eyes. Fingers and your eyes. Where do you get that at? Cross your fingers and your eyes. I'm going to try that. Cross your fingers and your eyes. I'm going to cross town. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cross your fingers and your eyes. Remain here on watch. Why am I going so fast and ain't going nowhere? I'm going to be scared stiff when I get there. Suppose spirit of Mrs. Edwards first appear where? From that cabinet. You care for a visit to spirit world? Step inside. experience with seance room cabinets. in Bonner Seances. All come from basement. Mr. Chan, better not stay in there too long. Mr. Chan, you... Mm. Spook's got him. 
Also, most modern spooks, they converse with Mrs. Bonner by microphone. Speaking from here, I am Spook. You are? Hmm? Oh, Birmingham. We'll be right back. Mr. Chan, if you is dead, stay wherever you are. You two disappeared from inside and that. Did you say abacadabra or snap your fingers? No, merely use head. We are here uninvited guests. Keep watch for return of hostess. Here she comes. And here I go. Doug Pop, she's back. Isn't it? It's the easiest way of being scared to death that I know of. Excellent deduction, Birmingham. There are spirits here. Mm. What am I going to do? Abracadabra. Abracadabra. cannot kill. Mr. Bonner shot by someone at Seance table. No, no one could have. No? You, you need hands to shoot. And we were all holding each other's hands when Mr. Bonner was shot. Well, that's the truth. No, it isn't. Justine's a fake. She had her hands free to work the lights. She could have used a gun. I will not have my husband and my profession insulted. Please, please. Shady business do not make for sunny life. I believe time for everyone to cool off. Anyone here know who owned this fan? Now let me see that fan. It's just like one of mine. Yours? But, yes. You know, I make fans, trick fans, and magician supplies. Oh, you not make this one? Let me have a look at that. I don't see what this fan's got to do with it. <gasps> You recognize fan, Mrs. Bonner? No, no. I find same underneath Sion's table. And I'm stumped. For a moment, I am in similar position. One murder, too many suspects. Too many people have motive. Mr. Hamlin have motive. Mr. Bonner tried to blackmail him. So I wasn't the only fool to be blackmailed. Miss Green. Mr. Bonner making love to Miss Green. Yes, and I fell for it and later got blackmailed. You, Mrs. Bonner, you threaten bodily harm to your husband if he not cease his attentions to Miss Green. That's not true. It is. I heard you. So did I. Your daughter was there. What about her? Beauty of Chan family, merely innocent bystander. So was I. Magic. Black magic kill William Bonner. Seems most strange that you, Mr. Edwards, are maker of magician's supplies. That will be all for a moment. Oh, Mr. Chan. Yes? At the seance, someone asked a question about London. What happened on night of October 5th, 1935? Yes. Well, I was in London then. You know answer to strange question? No, but the voice that asked it seemed familiar somehow. There's a name connected with that voice right on the tip of my tongue, but I... I simply can't remember it. 
most important clue. Try, please, remember as soon as possible. Say, Charlie, how did you figure this out? You forget I am psychic. Excuse, please. Go on, I dare you to laugh. What are you looking for, Mr. Chan? Searching for bullet that killed Bonner. All we can do now, Mr. Chan, is wait for reactions. Then we'll make the final test. Tomorrow? By tomorrow, we should know if your theory concerning a bullet which kills and then disappears is correct. Mm. Thank you so much, Mr. Dawson. It's been a pleasure working with you, sir. Oh, Pa, I just called the hotel and the clerk said Miss Duncan is waiting to see you. Okay. Seems we arrived too late, Miss Duncan already gone. But the clerk said it was important that she see you. Turn on lights. Is she dead, Pop? No. She's not asleep, is she? Impossible sleep in this... What's it all about, Pop? Seems we arrive in time after all. Miss Duncan's supposed to be dead when we get here. What happened? Get out. The elevators are way down on the lower floor. No one on fire escape, no. Hall door open to make us look that way. Pop, you mean to say the murder was in the bedroom all the time? Open door is old trick a magician who never lets you follow what he is doing. She's like someone in a trance. Miss Duncan, wake up. Wake. Chan, what a surprise. I... What am I doing here? You came to see me, Miss Duncan. Well, no, I didn't. But the clerk said you did. You told him you wanted to see Pop. Well, but I didn't. You don't believe me. Oh, I believe you, Miss Duncan. Tell me, you remember anything more about strange question concerning London? Question? London? I can't remember anything right now. Never mind. You will return home with Mr. Rafferty. Well, why should he accompany me? To see that you could get home safely. Don't let her out of your sight. What do we do now? You go to bed. I must send cablegram to Scotland Yard. Good night. Good night, Pop. Mr. Bonner's bank statement showed no evidence that he blackmailed you people. That's what you say. Very well, Mrs. Bonner. You leave us no recourse but the law. Oh, all right. Meet me at the Berkeley building tomorrow at 11 o'clock. I'll see. Excuse, Mrs. Bonner. I uh, would like to ask you a few questions. Oh, surprised to see you, Miss Green and Mr. Hamlin. Uh, we are here on business alone, I assure you. Yes, we, we were just going. Oh, so sorry. Uh, Mrs. Bonner, on night of fatal seance, someone asked what happened in London on night of October 5th, 1935. You know meaning of question? No, I have no idea what it meant. Why are you so nervous? Well, I'm not nervous. I'm, 
just upset. That voice was like one from the dead. Yeah. You can explain? No. No, I mean, I can't. Mr. Chan, those people upset me. Please, Mr. Chan, excuse me. Certainly. Mr. Chan sure scared her, didn't he? She's got something on her conscience and pops after it. Uh-oh. I'm going out to do something very important to me and to you and Vera. Yeah? What do you mean? When I return, I'm making a getaway. Go on. We're listening. You've got to help me. You'll be well paid. You hear that? She's gabbing with the ghost again. That's all for now. I'll be back soon. Uh-oh. Tom, what do you think she's up to? I think I'll take a walk. What are you going to do? Now, dry up on the dramatics, Vera. You stay here and I'll be back real soon. Oh, no. Where trouble's gone, I ain't chasing it. Stay here, then, with the spooks. Oh, wait a minute. Wait till I get under my hat. Trouble, trouble, and more trouble. Where's my vitamins? Just let me get some of my vitamins. <laughs> now let them spooks come on. Shut my mouth. If y'all heard me, I was only kidding. Excuse. Good news, Mr. Chan? Excellent news. All right, what's going on now? Merely discover what kind of bullet killed Mr. Barner. What? Will someone explain what's going on? This doesn't tell what kind of a bullet it was. Yeah. Huh? Say that again. And I just saw Mr. Edwards. He was acting very strangely. Oh, yes. Yes, thanks. We'll attend to it. That was Norma Duncan. She says that Edwards is on the seventh floor of the Berkeley building, acting strangely. Let's go. Charlie, about that bullet. You can keep secret? Of course. So can I. <laughs> She ain't on this floor, thanks goodness. Uh-oh. Charlie, that's funny. Miss Duncan phones and says that Edwards is here acting strangely. Then why should a secretary say that he hasn't been here all morning? You think Miss Duncan tell untruth? Why, I... Uh... Tom! We followed Mrs. Bonner to this building and lost her. Oh, uh, one moment. Pop, that's Mrs. Bonner's glove.
Not there now. Pop, she said she was making a getaway when she got back. With the spooks. Come forward, Mrs. Bonner. Paper, paper, boxes. Hey, look! Come a little closer, Mrs. Bonner. Oh, all right, all right. You just must be crazy. More this way. Just a little more, Mrs. Bonner. I think she's gonna jump. Don't jump! Oh! Pop! Those clothes! That's Mrs. Barner! Call an ambulance, somebody. Call an ambulance. Break it up, Robert. All right, keep moving. Get out of here, everybody. Go on. All of you. Go on. Keep moving. Everybody. Come on, everybody. Everybody. Come on, everybody. Go ahead. Get out of here. Go ahead. Well. I guess that closes the Bonner case. Wish lady's coat removed immediately. What for? Large stain on same must be analyzed at once. All right, Rafferty. It's what we figured, Mr. Chan. Minasterol. Absolutely. It's a derivative of the powerful shock drug. I've never heard of antidote for such drug. Oh, there is one. Just a moment. One of these pills will reduce the effects of minasterol to impotency. How long it take antidote to work? I haven't had a chance to make any tests, but I... I should say it would work within 10 to 15 minutes. What is the effect of this new drug? A few minutes after taking it, there would seem to be no effects whatever. But actually, the drug leaves a person with no mental or physical resistance. Such person could be easily hypnotized? I should say such a person would be the most easily controlled subject a hypnotist ever had. A normal person can resist any hypnotist. But after taking an Asderol, they haven't a chance. Thank you so much, Mr. Dawson. Hello, Charlie. Hello. You uh, question Mr. Hamlin, Mr. Edwards, and Miss Green? Yes, and they all had solid alibis. Anyway, this case has ended without any of your fancy detecting. Case ended? Sure. Mrs. Bonner killed her husband, and then when she found that I, uh, we were getting too close, she committed suicide. So sorry. Your suicide most excellent case of murder. Murder? Mrs. Bonner killed by same person who killed her husband. What? Huh? Well, Pop, I went shopping this afternoon. Huh? Wait till the folks back home see me. I'll knock their eyes out. You are perhaps pugilist? Silly. I mean my clothes. I bought a crownless hat and a backless dress and some toeless shoes. Stores have no clothes which are complete? That's the style. Just wait till the boys see me. Can you imagine what happened? <whistles> Why, Pop, what was that? New toot out of old horn. What are you taking pills for? Oh, uh, bring same by mistake from police station. Should have left in laboratory. Will you get me police station, please? You know, Pop, I got an idea about this Bonner case. Water on brain now leaking, huh? Uh, hello, this is Charlie Chan speaking. Have cablegram arrived for me from Scotland Yard? No? Well, thank you very much. Good night.
Okay, Mr. Dawson, thanks. Pop's not at the laboratory? No, and he's nowhere in the building. I know he's not with Matthews or out at the Bonner place. I'm getting scared. We've got to find him. Well, I'll help, but where can we go? Wait a minute. When Mr. Chan was here, he said something about hypnotism. Does that mean anything? He said something about uh, going to where she started from. Who is she? Mrs. Bonner. Maybe Pop's at the office she went to. Come on. Relax, Mr. Chan. Relax. My heart. Pill. You have the pill, Mr. Chan? Pocket. You may take a pill, Mr. Chan, but do not try anything foolish. There is water at your hand. There was mesdrol in that water. Relax, Mr. Chan. Remember nothing but what you have been told. Remember, you go to the roof of the Chalmot building. And when you hear my voice, you know what you ought to do? Come forward to you. Have no fear, Mr. Chan. No one will touch you. You will start on your journey now. Your hat, Mr. Chan. that fast, Miss Chan. It's only 10.30. It's open. Somebody's been here, but I don't think Mr. Chan did this. Check with the elevator operators. Did you take a Chinese gentleman down lately? Just now. He acted funny, like he was walking in his sleep. That Mrs. Bonner that killed herself rode down with me and acted the same way. All right, down fast. Catch killer. Oh, 
Pop. Must remember to tell Dawson his timing for antidote all wrong. Come. Looks like a magician hat this place. Edwards, across the hall. He sells magician supplies. Could look for fingerprints, but I'm afraid magician killer too smart to leave any. What do we do next? Oh, Mr. Chan, I almost forgot. Uh, this came this morning. Oh, perhaps cablegram report from Scotland Yard. Tonight, Charlie Chan holds sea ants. You, Pop? Will bring to earth ghosts which kill Justine and William Bonner. Come. I knew we'd get in bad hanging around here. Now, sit on your blood pressure and keep it down. Don't let the cops in Justine's place worry you. In her place? Tom, there's a cop on our front steps and one in the back, too. What are we going to do? Take it easy, Vera. Get into your outfit. What? Sure. We'll slip through the seance room and hide in Justine's place right under their noses. Come on. Here. Sergeant, you will sit there, please. Special seance about to proceed. We'll be very short. What's the meaning of all this foolishness? Very soon we'll bring forth most exclusive spirits. Your spirits are a long time coming, Mr. Chan. Spirits always have a very long way to come. Sarge? You find any spirits, Mr. Rafferty? Not at home now, Mr. Chan. Remain where you are a few moments longer. Excuse, please. Oh, no, you don't. to converse with elusive spooks. Remove hoods, please. Officer, the spooks is done stop knocking and not in and come all the way in. No one goes out. Well, it's just got to work this time. Abacadabra, disappear. Abacadabra, disappear. You can't make anything disappear by snapping your fingers. No. Well, how come every time I snap my fingers and say, come seven, all my money disappears. <laughs> you are Vera and Tom Stockey. Yes, that's the truth, Mr. Chan. We were assistants to magicians before Vaudeville died. Know any people in this room? No, no, we've only seen them in the dark. That's the truth. Come. Stand there, please. Mr. Rafferty may leave now. Come on up, Mr. Chan. Ah, uh, because... No, that don't work. Come, sir! I made it! Where did I go? Ah! 
Abba, 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 Abba. Uh, Abba. Oh, my goodness, I done forgot the magic word. Birmingham. Oh, Mr. Chan, you sure did lose some weight. Birmingham, remain still and silent. Yes, sir. Seance begin with word association test. When you hear me speak word, person addressed will reply with first word which comes to mind. Person upon whom light falls will speak. Magician. Supplies. 518. Uh, uh, train. Honor. Dead. Revenge. No. Magician. Trickster. October. Month. Bullet. Gun. London. City. 1935. Year. London. England. Cigar. Cold. Case. I see. Charlie, what is all this? Almost solved. Killer made slip. Something wrong with lights. Oh, what was that? There's a bullet hole in this chair. But bullet did not go entirely through chair. You work lights very well. For helping me illuminate dark mystery, I now make you junior member of the firm. Motive for murder is explained in this cablegram which I received from Scotland Yard. During automobile accidents which occurred in London on night of October 5th, 1935, famous magician known as Shardo the Great is horribly injured. Shardo? That was the name of the voice. Exactly. He tried to kill you because he fear you remember his name. Shardo was pursuing his wife, Justine, <gasps> who was running away with his assistant, William Bonner. Then accident occurred. Shardo remained in hospital for over a year. I heard he died, Mr. Chan. No, Shardo recover. But now through plastic surgery, he is utterly unrecognizable. So he determined to find and kill Justine and William Bonner. And Shardo succeed. Look, Charlie. Now there's blood on the chair. Explanation of why no bullet found in body of William Bonner. Bullet made of frozen blood. Shardo the Great was very clever. He was magician, ventriloquist, actor and hypnotist, but he could hardly expect to fool the police forever. Could he, Mr. Hamlin? Uh, what? Huh? What? <laughs> How should I know? That's it. He touched my hand with that case, and the thing nearly froze me. Mr. Shardo, you are wanted for murder. I'm not being taken, Chan. It is unavoidable, Shardo. Look out, Charlie! Cigar case contains spring gun. My own mate. Clever, hmm? I carry it in an insulated pocket. You take him away, Sergeant. Come on. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank goodness. Seance over. All may depart. Uh, what about me? Oh, Birmingham. You may come up now. Which way is up? Charlie, if Shardo or Hamlin was holding hands at the seance, how did he shoot Bonner? All trick of third hand. One moment, I show you. You see? Hamlin let other person hold this hand while he have one hand free now to fire a strange gun. Then to get rid of it, he just hung it on the drape. Exactly. 
Like magician, he make it disappear before your very eyes. Where am I now? Oh, oh, excuse, please. Uh, is the police gone now? Yes. What's the matter, Birmingham? Don't you feel good? Oh, I feel fine now. I took some of my vitamin pills. What vitamin pills? Oh, these here. Why, it's a lot of pep in these pills, Mr. Chan. You eat those pills and still feel good? Feel good. <laughs> Ain't nothing about it with me. Of course, I got a little permanent wave in my stomach, but I, I, don't, I don't hear them spooks rapping no more. You were fooling me. You're not psychic at all. Good. You're sure? Well, uh, Charlie, there's another one. Beauty of Chan family. Also a junior member with the brains. What? <laughs> <laughs>